Today, you'll learn how to use some built-in commands to self-help your way to learning all sorts of different tools on the Linux command line. Let's dive right in. You're probably familiar with the man pages by now, which give you detailed usage information on a particular command. But oftentimes, you don't even know which commands to use. You might have a vague idea of the functionality you're looking for and not much else. This is where the Apropos command comes in. Apropos takes a keyword and searches through all of the man pages for it, giving the entries that match what you're looking for. Let's say I wanna see which commands have to do with the keyword search. Apropos will give you tons of results containing that keyword. To filter some out, all you gotta do is qualify it with some more keywords using the tag A for AND flag, which you can add as many as you want. By throwing in the keyword files, I get fewer and more relevant entries. If I add the keyword directory, it reveals a find command, which I can run against man to see its usage. This is a useful way to discover and learn tools that you've never heard of before. For example, if I run a Propus delete, apparently there's an NTFS undelete command that I had never known about. This lets you scan and recover supposedly deleted files from NTFS volumes. Pretty neat. If you know a command's name, but not exactly what it does, the what is command is your friend. Running what is NTFS undelete gives you a one-liner description from its man pages. There's also times when you wanna see the file locations about a tool. The where is command will give you the binary, source code, and man page files if they're available. If you just need the binary's default file location, I tend to use which more often since it's more direct. Sometimes a command may appear in multiple locations. Passing which the tech A flag will show all of them to you. In this case, you'll notice slash user sbin and slash sbin. The second one is actually a shortcut, aka symbolic link. If I run ls with the tech D flag on this folder, you can see that slash sbin points to slash user sbin. By the way, as a note, Slash sbin is a folder that mostly contains administrative tools that often need root privileges to fully run. The last command that can help you understand bash commands is info. The info pages provide more recent and detailed descriptions than the man pages. It has tables of contents and links to other pages. If an info page doesn't exist for a command, it'll display the man page. When I type info ls, notice how there's a more comprehensive write-up here than in the man pages. You can use the arrow keys to scroll, page up and down to jump a screen full, enter to dive into a link, L to jump back, capital H to see more commands, and Q to quit. So that's it for command line self-help tools. I gotta say, being able to reference things without searching online can save a ton of time when you're in the command line. There's many instances when you may not have access to the internet and gotta rely on your own memory and built-in documentation to solve sysadmin problems. This kind of self-sufficiency is just another step towards becoming pro. If you found this Linux tutorial helpful, hit that like button Subscribe if you aren't already, and let me know what commands you'd like to learn in the comments below. See you soon.